a reduction in savings, a raise in rent. Fires, floods, locusts, plagues. We got it all here on leave today. The time has come, yet again, to move. And I can't say that we're excited about it this time. It means a reduction in savings, a raise in rent. But, uh, all right, back to Guerneville. So we're uh, packing things up and placing them in random places to try to uh, get ready to move. We haven't moved in, like, many a month. Um, Chris has fixed the leak that we found underneath our RV. We think we can get the slide in. We've been able to get it in once. Mostly. Everything's going to work. It's going to be fine. The place that we're going is the same place as before, but a different spot. And I'm worried that it's going to be a little tight slash too tight, but we will see. My husband is a master. He's a master of, of manipulation. <laughs> yes, he is. And uh, so we'll see um, how we can get in there. The hope is that it's only for a few months and then we move to a different site that has more space. So we'll see. Everything is temporary. Um, Hence the temporary nature of our living abode. I'm getting tired of your bullshit. I'm tired of your voice. I'm getting tired of the way you leave me hanging with no choice. If you would ask me long ago, back when you seduced me, yeah, I felt like a domino. But I knew you were like a He said, babe. After maybe hours of trying to get this place in where we want it to be. Oh, why? Oh. Anyway, hours. It's been hours. And everything is taking forever because we're in a too small of a place. And um, speaking of too small of a place, I think we're about to make our first enemies. Um, because our big ass RV is going to smoosh the people next to us so they don't even have a pathway to get to their RV. And we don't know what else to do because, like, when our slides come out. There's just, I might die right now. Hold on. Anyway, when the slides come out, what am I gonna do? I'll show you. So this is what I mean. This is their RV, it's all their outdoor stuff. Can you get the car started? Better, better. This is the room they have without our slides out. I gotta hurt. sorry. Climb from way down there, taking Lumpy for his walk. There's this pathway, and it's like maybe is it a game trail that cuts through here. But I got up to the top, and it looks like there's some sort of campsite up here. 
And someone was using... This looks like a bunch of tent canvas and poles and stuff. So obviously they got found out and somebody cleaned up the area. But uh, all these little things and the cuts in the woods out here. Lumbies up there. Trying to go where I can't go. But having a blast. All right. I don't know. Maybe uh, 200 yards from my house. Very nice. Very nice indeed. I also found this dope ass set of logs here, which have all these like holes going through them. They're stumps, right? Covered in moss. But they look so cool. Yeah. Come on, man. Home is way Let's go. Way. I think I gotta go this way. I can hear these not to get there. There it goes. This way, this way. Come on. Ooh. Let's go. Slip this slide. That little trail down there. favorite part of the day. Gets me to where I need to be wild though. Come here. Where's this is This isn't a trail. This is just the base of the train. Only one so, stick that I saw in them. Here we go, guys. It was important to get him off him before he drags him into the house and they jump in the bed or something like that. And the next thing I know, I got a tech. I'm joking with you, Lumps. I'm joking. You're okay. You're okay. Recently, our heater decided to give up during the winter. Of course. We've had it for five years. I thought it was a thermostat. Now I think it made this controller. Hopefully. But, but the day before it went out, I heard weird noises on the heater and I was like, it's four in the morning, but should I wake up? I didn't, it's gone. So we're also about to hit a flood, uh, but we found a solution. Temporarily. Temporarily for now. Meet Big Buddy by Mr. Heater. Medium Buddy. It's a, uh, Indoor heating apparatus. We've decided to put the propane in Lumpy's room, separated away from this thing. With Lumpy. No, Lumpy's in here. <laughs> but this thing on low is already putting off quite a bit of heat. But it's gonna keep us warm through the flood. And our electricity, or yeah, our electricity bill won't go up crazy. Yeah, so it should keep us warm through the flood. Uh, so even if the power goes out, we'll have we'll be able to stay warm. But also, yeah, our electricity bill has been $250 every two weeks. Not saving that way. What do you think, baby? I think I appreciate you uh, separating off the propane because that's something a little worrisome for me. But now we'll have an entire room of propane that'll be safe. Um, I think will. it's a good short term solution, but uh, I'm sick of things breaking down. Mm -hmm. um, I definitely don't think these things are built to last. Built, built to last, yeah. They're definitely not. And they're built to, to visit once a year mm -hmm. on your family vacation. Mm -hmm. And then you can spend the rest of the time when you're not on vacation leaving it in the shop. Yeah. They're built to look pretty. They're built to fix. They're built to fix. RVs, built to fix. Mm hmm. Not really, because we still don't. They're somewhere up there, yeah, up, up you behind can't even me, figure out where to fix them. Is where the air controller unit is, somewhere in the ceiling. I've where? got to track it down. I have no idea. How do I find it? I don't yeah. know. Are there schematics for Forest River? Not a chance. Uh, oh. But I think that I'm, I'm happy enough right now. I'm already feeling the warmth, baby. It'll work for now. Yeah, it'll work for now. So once again, at leave today, we find ourselves in a disaster. Uh, in fact, the uh, governor has just cleared our specific area a state of emergency because it's going to flood. Um, we're up a hill, so we won't flood, but we will be on an island 
uh, as it was in 2019, where all the roads out are, are, are flooded. Problem is, is like where, where, if I go somewhere, it's just, uh, and then if I stay, I can make sure. Oh, and there's, <coughs> the power already went out. We're living off of battery right now, so. Yep, yep, it's, uh, that's why it's so dim. We are, yeah. we are battery using life. just that light. Battery life. Wow, the fires, floods, locusts, uh, yeah. they're, they're, they're plagues. Um, yeah, we got earth, it all here on leave today. Yeah, nice. So it's kind of flooded. Not in all parts, but you know, the ducks are at the same size as the signs in some areas near the river. We're just checking it out. We don't expect it to affect our lives other than the fact that I can't leave because I'm afraid I won't be able to come back. And we have to do a weird heating thing. And I don't know, you know, catastrophe after catastrophe after catastrophe. It is a thing. It is the world. Femme change. What about Christ the Lord in this area of the bird thing? In Armstrong Woods, there are new bodies of water suddenly, and like it's actually like flowing from one side to another. I mean, it's really pretty. Getting real, real close to the road right here. Can't hear it. So it's raining super heavy right yeah. now. And Lumpy, Lumpy is scared. He's hiding. He's hiding. Yeah. But we're in all these big booms because there's like thunder and stuff. Yeah. We're on a hillside. And I don't, oh, all so this flash. lightning, yeah, there's yeah. a lot of lightning. Okay. This creek is usually empty by us. Yeah. And now it's a river. This is actually called Fife Creek. Usually there's a trickle. I would say it's probably about, you know, yeah, if there's anything at all. There's probably about like, I don't know, about four feet of depth there. But uh, usually not. Interessante. Our neighbors all got these like bridges to get to their homes. It's got to be uh, nerve wracking to think what if, what if the bridge washes out the one that the only one that lets us off our property yeah, or lets you on or lets you on your property. You know, yeah. They got to build a bridge just to get back home and survey the damage from the flood. Yeah, that would suck. So actually today, uh, it's not raining at all. Uh, it's not gonna rain until tonight. And they revised down the flood from a major flood to a minor flood. Minor flood. So, uh, or not a major flood, from a moderate flood to a minor flood. Um, but you know, that number changes daily. So we'll see what it's going to be in total. As of right now, everything's just a small river everywhere there could be, super moist. But we can actually get outside again. Yes. Oh my God. Thank God. Fantastic just to be walking. Our neighborhood is, uh, is mostly above all of this. So even if it did flood, it would just flood, you know, on our way out of our neighborhood. But, um, they had to close Armstrong Wood Park due to collapsing trees. They're leaning on each other, which means just like last time, we're going to have to wait months for them to fix the trees. I get, you got to get a tree mechanic. There's all sorts of things to do. So it's going to be months before we see that uh, damn park Our again.
So no, our neighbor doesn't hate us. In fact, she's really cool. Her name is Cindy. And yes, we've created a little spot for ourselves. It's nothing like what it was before. Spot. Eh, eh, eh. But I have the feeling we're not going to be here long. Look at that out.